hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys this christmas box that i got from bt art box this isn't like pr they actually sent this over to me as a christmas gift and there were no obligations to do a video on it but since i thought it was like really sweet i decided to and i know how much you guys love my gox or soft gel nail videos I know that it can be helpful to a lot of people so I did just want to go ahead and give you guys a haul of everything they sent to me and then I will be using some of the nails to do a really simple festive nail set. So as you guys see um, I did go ahead and show you guys they sent me a mini lamp. They also sent me these snowflake stickers which is always great around Christmas time. They sent me a handwritten letter which was so sweet um, basically just saying that they love my collaborations with them and just wishing me a Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. The next few items I'm going to show are the gel products. This one contains the top coat and the builder gel. I really love their builder gel for applying these nails. I feel like I prefer that over anything that they provide because I love the consistency of it. The second box contains the nail glue and also the nail primer. And if you guys do find any of these items interesting or you want to check them out, I will leave their website down below along with my discount code that will save you some money off your purchase. The next item I have received in this box are some UV protection gloves. Using these nails you will be in and out of the light so your fingertips or fingers will be exposed to the light pretty often. So if you want to protect your skin and prevent any unnecessary tanning these will be very, very helpful. And we have a 100 180 grit nail file. We have this scented thing here at least that's what i think it is i'm not sure but i do think it's like an air freshener that you can hang up um but then we get into the nail tip so these is what i was super excited about when i first got this package i did take a sneak peek and i saw these and i just knew for sure i was gonna be wearing these on christmas day and i just love that these already look top coated but i'm pretty sure once i do apply them i will have to go over it with another top coat but I just love the way they are super reflective and they're just really pretty. So inside of the package, it has a mini buffer. It has a wooden stick. That way you can do some nail prep. And these little smaller size boxes only contains 30 nails. So you wouldn't be able to get a lot of wear out of the nail tips, but they are reusable. So if you take good enough care of them, you can take them off and just reapply them whenever you feel. I really love these. I actually might switch my Christmas nails to the red tips because I love the way they have that really nice glazed donut look. The next one is a bigger box and of course you get more wear out of these. I do already have some like these so I'm not going to spend too much time showing you guys. But these are definitely some new ones. I don't have this tan on tan or brown on brown nail set but I really love this combination. I feel like it looks super neutral and more like on the natural side so i really love these and the last nails they sent me i'm pretty sure i have some like these already which are the newest cat eye addition to their collection you add on a top coat and it becomes really reflective like that cat eye look so if you struggle doing cat eye designs like me these will be very great for you because the nails are already done and i'm pretty sure they do have more shapes and sizes on their website of each of these nails that i showed so if you want to check them out in different links make sure to go to their website and check everything out um they also sent me some little charms which are like little bells and they do come in three different colors clear pink and purple which also contains a little pearl wreath And the last and final item I'm going to be showing you guys is this BT Art Box ring, which I felt was really cute for showcasing their nails. So whenever I apply them, I'll take my pictures using this and yeah, I think it will re look really cute. So yeah, that's everything that they sent to me as a gift and I really, really appreciate it. So thank you BT Art Box. I know I didn't have to do a video on it, but since it was super sweet, I decided to anyway. But yeah, now I'm getting into my nails, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to prep your nails when doing the gel x method or applying soft gel nail tips because i know this is a method that a lot of people tend to do at home if you don't feel like working with the poly gel or you hate the smell of the monomer for acrylic this is a very easy and um simple way to do your nails at home that don't cost a lot of money at all so firstly we're going to start with a cuticle pusher and just push back our cuticles this is going to push back the eponychium and also lift up anything that's left on the nail plate or at least start to lift everything up. 
Next, I'm going to go in with a mini barrel diamond bit from Kira Sky. I really love this bit for doing nail prep because it pushes up the cuticles so you're able to remove it in the next step. And also, it basically gets up anything off the nail plate. And it's like a two-in-one in my opinion. So if you don't have this drill bit, I really um, suggest that you guys go ahead and try it out. And like I said, this drill bit is from Kira Sky, so I'll link it down below and also have my discount code so where you guys can save money off your purchases. Next, I'm going to go in with some fresh cuticle nippers and this is pretty much optional. I know there is like a safer alternative tool that you guys can use to remove or snip away the cuticles. I do recommend you guys use that if you don't like to use these cuticle nippers or you're not that experienced. Um, I only showed one on camera because I didn't have a lot to do anyways, so I just showed you guys what I could. Um, and next, I'm going to go in with a mini mandrel drill bit. If you have a regular size, that's fine as well. But taking the mandrel drill bit, I do go around the cuticle area just one last time. And that's like my final sweep around the cuticle area to remove everything, polish it up a little bit. And then once I finish going around the cuticle, I will go back and forth over the nail plate to remove any shine. And just like that, we are basically done with our nail prep and this is what my nails look like. But an alternative method, if you don't have an e-file, you also can go in with a hand file. Make sure that you get the finer grit side because you don't want anything too harsh over your natural nails. With the softer grit, go ahead and remove the shine from your nail plate and that will easily remove the oils and shine from your nails. Just like I did there, you also can go over the free edge if you need to and once we are done, that's basically it for the nail prep. I went ahead and removed all of that does and as you guys just saw that's what it looks like and after that you will want to go in and apply your dehydrator and primer and then on top of that apply a base coat so for those steps i didn't do it but i just went ahead and put on my pillow face so i guess that kind of visually substitute the base coat once i have my base coat cured on i did decide to use these nails because i haven't used them before and i feel like these this color was like really cute so I just wanted to use these and do something really simple for today's video. So of course once you get all of your nail prep done and your base coat applied, the next step is to take the nails and size them out to your nail bed. One thing I really love about these is how they're already like on this little line, like this little script where all the nails are really easy to access. And it doesn't take much because once you're finished, you just go down the row until you're all the way done with sizing out the nails. When you are sizing them out, please make sure that you size them out from sidewall to sidewall. If you can't seem to find the perfect nail tip and you're in between one that's too big and too small, always go with the one that's bigger because you can always file it down and customize it to fit. If you end up picking the smaller size, you are definitely going to have problems when it comes to applying them. So always just keep that in mind. But once you pick all of the nails out, that's when I want to pull out my mini flashing light from BT Art Box and also the builder gel that I like to use. However, it doesn't have to be this builder gel. You can use another builder gel, just whatever you like to use. You can also use a base coat, basically any gel product that you like. And I start by putting a little bit inside of the cuticle area of the nail. And then once I have my flashlight ready, I go ahead and apply it to my nails. Before I do flash cure, I make sure that the nails are straight on my hand because I don't want to be applying these Cricut. So make sure it's straight before you go into the light. I flash cure for about 10 to 15 seconds and then move on to the next one. If you guys are wondering if they have any problems with curing because these nails are not clear. And if you have any questions about whether the light can actually get through the nail and cure it properly. So these nails are not fully opaque. So there is some type of transparency to where the light can penetrate down and cure onto the nail. 
even when I do apply them, um, you can see the gel flowing up to the tip of the nail. Even after 10 seconds, I feel like these nails were like super cured anyway. So yeah, you guys have nothing to worry about. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish applying all of them. Once I get it done, I will go ahead and cure them in my bigger lamp for another 30 to 60 seconds and we are done with the application. So after I went ahead and cured them in my light for 30 to 60 seconds just to make sure they're fully cured, I'm going to go in with my e-file using a sanding band and just go around my cuticle areas because as you guys saw on my thumb I did have a little bit of spillage um, and I do have a little bit on the side which I'm just going to try to remove and also just go in around my cuticle to make everything look super nice and flushed. For the spilled product on the side, so with my index nail, once I was trying to remove it, I saw that it was starting to remove my French tip and I didn't want it to look super weird on the side. So I just went in with some cuticle nippers to clip it away, which was so much easier. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. But once I did clip all the sides away, I'm going to go ahead and finish off with my sanding band to flush out my cuticle area. In the last part of the filing, I'm going to be taking a hand file and file over the free edge so that I can remove that little piece of plastic from popping them off of the nail strip and also just to straighten them out a little bit and give them a little bit more to my liking. And once I finish those steps, we are done with the application, we're done with the filing, and this is how the nails look. I think these nails look so cute on me. Like, I really love this nude color, the nude French tip. I really love them so much, and I honestly would wear them like this. If I wasn't doing a video, or if you, that's what you guys prefer, you go in with a glossy top coat or matte top coat, and then you are done with this nail set. However, I did decide to do a little bit of nail art just to make these nails a little bit more festive. So I'm taking some gel polish and putting them on my nail palette, basically just getting all of my colors right. And for the nail art, I'm just going to be doing some simple mistletoe nail art on these. I've really been seeing a lot of them like on Instagram, so I really wanted to incorporate it into one of my nails without doing too much. So I feel like this was the perfect way to show you guys the simplicity of these nails and the simple nail art and so yeah that's what I'm going to be doing over all of my nails which I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys finish watching play out if you're enjoying today's video make sure to go ahead and give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and also leave a comment down below
once I add on the red dots for the berries, like it just really pulled everything together. And there was one design I saw these mistletoe on Pinterest where they end up putting like a thin white line in it, I guess, and to add like some detail to it. At first, I wasn't going to, but for some reason, I just really loved the idea or I liked how it looked better with it. So that's what I'm going to do here, taking a really thin brush and doing a really thin line in the inside of my mistletoes, which I'm going to do for all of them. And I just feel like it give it a lot more detail. And then also I decided to add on some white dots just to give this nail set a little bit more. I feel like there were a lot of empty spaces. So as I always do, I'd like to try to fill those in any way I can without doing too much. But with these white dots, I feel like it could resemble snow. So it just pulled everything together and look even more festive how I want it. But once I get on my dots, I'm going to go ahead and cure those in place, then add on my top coat. Once I rub in my cuticle oil to re-nourish my cuticles, this is how the finished nails look and I love them so much. Like nails doesn't have to be like super hard, it doesn't have to take a lot of time at all. I love how quick these nails were and how simple the nail art is, which is really easy for beginners or if you just want something very simple like this. And also what I like about this design is that the mistletoe doesn't have to be super neat. Once you add on the detail, it just pulls everything together. And I really hope my step-by-step -step process to applying these soft gel gel X nails were helpful to anyone who've been having trouble trying to apply them or get them straight. If you've been having trouble with lifting, please attempt those prep steps and it should work. So make sure to check all of the links down below for these nails. I really love these. I feel like these are my favorite nails to apply using the gel X method. So I really do recommend them. Make sure to check out the discount codes and the links down below. And yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's set. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.